Wow. Feels so good to be here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, I see you waving. Hi, my name is Dana Gutierrez. And my name is Stacy Gutierrez. And we are the advocates of, we are advocates of body positivity. And as what Isa said, we started re this revolution, this accidental advocacy back in November 2009. And it's such an honor to be a part of this conference, to see a lot of esteemed people jump in the dialogue we started almost a decade ago. So this is like, wow, cloud nine coming today. Yeah. And to gather, to, for Isa to use her influence and all the other people, it's such a privilege and an honor. So we started the blog, theplumpinai.com, when my sister was recovering from her anorexia bulimia. And we just wanted to talk about the very obvious thing about us, which is our bodies. No one's talking about our bodies the way we want it to be talked about, especially here in the Philippines. It's always, tumaba ka, umitim ka, pumayat ka. And that's how we greet each other, right? Parang, uy, hello, tumaba ka. <laughs> and so this advocacy, people, uh, we just wanted to talk about our struggles. And then it grew and it grew and it grew. And then people wanted to hear more about what we were saying. All right, so, you know, when, sometimes a revolution takes over the revolutionaries and with it comes mga false concepts about the main message of it. So, as 10 years later, as my sister said, so many people now are joining in the discussion of body positivity, talking about beauty, talking about body love, and, you know, there are so many advocates for it na din. But, you know, we want to debunk some myths on body positivity because we feel like the message is getting a little bit muddled up, and we just want to clarify a lot of things. But before that, let's explore what body positivity means, taking our cues from culture, trends, social media, and the media. Okay, so I'm sure most of you know who this model is, Ashley Graham, right? She's very sexy, she's at the top of her game, she's all about releasing your sexiness and your sex appeal no matter what size you are, right? She even started the hashtag trend, I am size sexy, and with over a million, two million followers on social media. Of course, this hashtag trended. Next. So she's all about flaunting your body, whether you're curvy or you're skinny, right? The message is, you can be whatever size and still be um, ano ba to? Parang desired by men. Now, if we take our cues from pop culture, self-confidence is all about being sassy, whether you're thick or you're thin. And I'm sure you've heard of this song, All About the Bass by Megan Trainor, right? It trended a couple of years back. And it's good that people are singing about it, people are talking about body positivity in the mainstream media. Next. Another one would be the societal perspective on body positivity. When we started this trend, a lot of women were raising the flag saying, finally, it's our time to shine, diba? Panahon na natin to ngayon, tayo na yung bida ngayon, upo natin lahat ng payat. You know, we've heard it. We've read it on our page, we've received the emails, and you know, the societal perspective with this is that curvy is in and skinny is out. And another one would be, you know, um, the feminist, Tess Holiday. She's all about body autonomy, my body, my rules. I can do whatever I want with it. You know, if I want to binge and gorge and eat whatever I want, you have no say in it. I can post pictures of it. I can post videos of it. And that's okay because your body is your rules. And of course, Tess Holiday is a very much celebrated body activist in the U.S., and she has over, like, millions and millions and millions of followers. She's been, um, she's been one of the... She's been the only girl in her size to be featured in Cosmo, in um, People magazine. And on the cover, ha, she's on the cover. And she says she does it because she wants to show, to show her relationship with food with no shame. Also today, we see body positivity in marketing tactics by brands, diba? Ang dami-dami na ngayong brands na nagkikater to plus-size girls and their clothing and their shoes or whatnot. And this is an in-store material by Zara. And diba, it says, love your curves. Ayan. Oh, diba? So 
Today, body positivity is also a way to expand your market to curvy or bigger bodies. And this is another example by Calvin Klein. This is their first plus size model saying that they want to show diversity in how they represent women. Okay, may mga nagre-react na. Relax, relax. Okay, hold up. Wait lang. Okay, so now we want to tell you about our take on body positivity and break those five myths that we just presented to you. Of course, with a, with a decade of... With a decade's worth of work we've put in, the research, we don't buy into every body positivity brand that's being presented out there. That's why we're here. We're trying to break the myths we presented and tell you why we don't buy into them. All right, so if we go back to this image of Ashley Graham, it's very sexy. And alongside all the other top plus size models like Felicity Hayward, if you check out their social media, ganyan din halos the way they pose, the way they exude themselves, Denise Bedeau, and all these other top, top plus size models. So it's all about sexiness and sex appeal. Okay, so if you look closely, who is this model speaking to? Diba? Let's assess. Media literacy tayo today. Is she talking to her mom? Is she talking to her sister? Is she talking to her friends? The body language, assess it. Sino yung kinakausap niya, di ba? Men. Very good. Okay, she's talking to men. And this is a classic example of sexual objectification in images. So what is sexual objectification? It is a woman using her sexuality as the main factor of her personhood. Meaning, wala nang iba about her. It's just all about her sex appeal, her sexiness, katawan niya. And here you see her body parts are all exposed. She is displaying her body as a form of sexual pleasure for men. And it is very evident in this photo. Now, what's our take on it? When we see sexual objectification at play, there are two participants in this dynamic. Number one is the subject, and the second one is the object. The subject is the one acting upon. He is the doer to the object while the object is waiting to be acted upon. So make no mistake about it, the object, no matter how hot she is, no matter how sexy she looks, she will always be subordinate to the subject, okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with wanting to embrace one's sexuality. By all means, please, we are women, females, we love to present ourselves a certain way, we want to feel confident and desired, sure, but know the boundaries and calculate the cost. Because the object, it's, all, it's always closer to the risk of violence because when you are being stripped away from your personhood, your womanhood, and your dignity, the more you are seen as a thing. And the more you are seen as a thing, the more you are at risk towards violence, to be used, to be abused. Okay? And objectifying is really highlighting the sexual functions, right? We've seen this. We've seen this in advertisements, like a pair of boobs being flashed next to a car, or maybe a pair of, um, a pair of uh, someone's butt being um, um, selling whatever men's fragrance, you know? We see it because this is what it does. It commodifies women. It makes products out of us to sell and sell and sell. And we are just being um, degraded and defined as a thing to be acted upon for the pleasure of men. And this is something we're very passionate about because, again, we, we've gone through this, we've done this. Come on, women, alam natin yan. We want to we wanna pull the bait and switch, so we're going to dangle our sexuality. And then when he bites it, biglang papakita mo na yung mature self mo na parang, I'm a woman, you know, you can respect me. Pero... <laughs> Wala na eh. Ano pa yan? Nagawa mo na yun eh. Okay? So our take on it is this. Body positivity means freedom from self and sexual objectification. Sometimes even women, we self-objectify, right? Um, and the male gaze. The male gaze meaning we know how to pose, how to, you know, project ourselves a certain way with the mindset that a man is looking at us. That's what the male gaze is. Okay? You know what? Body positivity may require to show some skin. Sure, yes, of course, but context matters. For example, a cancer survivor, topless, is, um, has a photo shoot. She presents herself that way, shows her upper body naked, yes. But is she speaking to the men? No, of course not. What is she communicating? She's communicating strength. She's communicating courage. She's communicating survival. Or maybe a mom breastfeeding, topless. 
what is she communicating? Is she communicating na, okay, come to me, di ba? Parang, I am luring you to me, to my topless body feeding this baby. Of course not. A mom breastfeeding shows strength to nurture and the power her body, the power of her body to give life. Nakedness doesn't necessarily have to be sexualized or hypersexualized. Look at the photos of, look at the portraits of the people behind you. I think it's such a beautiful representation of what it truly means to have confidence and comfort within one's body. All right, so in pop music, diba, at, at, when we listen to this song on the surface, parang, yes, it's all about self-confidence, all about the bass, I love it. But okay, let's read the lyrics. I'm gonna read it to you. I will spare you from my singing. So, no, I cannot. Okay. It says, Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty clear I ain't no size two, but I can shake it, shake it like I'm supposed to do. Because I got that boom, boom that all the boys chase. All the right junk and all the right places. And then at some point, she sings, Yeah, my mama, she told me don't worry about your size. She says, Boys like a little more booty to hold at night. Okay, so what is it really saying? Well, contrary to the song, self-confidence based on genuine body positivity does not need the approval of others. If you listen again to this song, at the end of it, it's still saying na, Okay lang to be big, to have a big butt or whatever, because boys still like it anyway. Or as long as still, or as long as men still like it anyway. Yeah, exactly. So what if they don't like it anymore? So you're gonna lose your self-confidence now. You're gonna feel bad about yourself. So, you know, if you're only body positive because you're assured or secured by the mindset that guys like your physicality, your look, your aesthetic, well then it's not genuine body positivity. Because real body positivity, again, does not need the approval of others. Self-confidence is not, oh, I hope they like me. It's, I'm fine even if they don't. So if there's one video I want you to check out, it's this um, music video of India Ari called Video. And please check it out during your free time. Take note of it. Set a reminder. It's just so beautiful. The lyrics is beautiful. And she's really affirmed that her creator made her uniquely and wonderfully. And that's all she needs. She, she loves what she sees in the mirror. So this is one of the most spread meme or picture online on the internet. Even in our page, you know, women like to post this. And it says, real men are into curves, only dogs play with, bone, with bones. And, you know, our take on it is, body positivity celebrates diversity. Right? We don't have to pit body types against each other. That's not the point of body positivity. Skinny girls are being shamed too. You know, in between girls are being shamed too. So women of all shapes and sizes are being shamed as well because this is how we converse about bodies in this country. And it's such a norm. And we've, ex we've just accepted it for the longest time up until two college girls started asking why. We were 18 when we started asking why. Who said na dapat ganito? Who said na hindi, hindi ko pwede isuot to? Who said na ito lang yung maganda, di ba? And when we start asking the right questions, people join in the conversation. And body bullying is not body acceptance. It's not... We're, we're, the, we're the ones hot now, you're the ones out. It's never that message, you know? And bodies are not trends to be, to be subscribed to for a certain period of time. Hindi siya, in ngayon mataba, so kain ako kasi in ngayon mataba. Tapos and then the next five years, the trend now is like a different body type, so I'm gonna adapt to that, you know? Like in the 90s, women with thick lips were shamed. They were made fun of, they were called fish lips. But women with thick lips today, they're, like, they're, they're seen as an Instagram model, right? But what if 10 years down the road, the trend changes? How are we going to keep this pursuit of wanting to fit in and wanting to reach that standard? And most especially, I think the most important question we should be asking is, how is this affecting the way we view ourselves, the way we view our womanhood and our bodies, and how are we projecting that onto others, right? And another one would be Tess Holiday. She's all about, you know, do whatever you want with your body, your body, your rules. But are there any boundaries? So our take on it is body positivity is not a license to live an unhealthy lifestyle. It's about taking care of your body from the inside out. 
Always inside out. It should be an overflow. Because I've seen so many women lose the weight, transform themselves, but still be the same insecure woman because there, were, there are still so many unresolved issues inside. And ownership is equated to responsibility. There's no other way to put it. Once you own something, you're responsible for it, right? So once you start accepting and owning that body, there are certain responsibilities that come along with it. You can't take care of something you hate, okay? Now, we're not saying that Tess Holiday hates her body, but maybe there's something about it that there's, there's, there's a certain view of bodies that you have to acquire because how you view your body will tell you how to take care of it. And body positivity is not an excuse to let yourself go. Never. Nande, comfortable naman ako. Hindi, body positive naman eh. So, okay na ako, kain na akong ganito or I'll continue with this diet. You know, these things, you know. These are so, um, parang we're fooling ourselves eh to a point. And it's acknowledging that doing whatever we want with our bodies will have consequences. Diba? Hindi naman siya, okay, you put something in, of course, there's a, there's a certain reaction to that. Again, everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. I think that's one of the key takeaways we want, you to, we want you to get. And at the end of it, we just want women to consider what works for your body, understand it, and embrace it with the best lifestyle suited for you. All right. Now, we're on, while we're on the topic of health and fitness, I just want to reiterate that thinness does not necessarily mean fitness, diba? Right? Because you cannot box fitness in one eye aesthetic. And just to show you this picture, this is um, a picture. These are all Olympians. And you see, wala silang isang look na parang lahat may abs, lahat toned, lahat ganto kapayat, parehas ng waistline. No. But we can really say that all of these women are taking care of their bodies. They have really great abilities. They are very powerful. Meron dyan into gymnastics, pole vaulting, hammer throwing. So this just really shows that our bodies really come in different shapes and different sizes. Now lastly, um, not every brand that says they're body positive is actually body positive, okay? Obviously, asaan ang curves, hindi ko makita, okay? And this is by Zara. And everyone's just riding on the trend because that is what it is. Body positivity has become a trend and it's just so fake. And this is so detrimental. This woman, I think, is a size 8 at most, size 6, you know. But she is considered plus size in the modeling industry. But the modeling industry is not the real world. And this is so sad because people who are this size are going to be insecure, thinking that, oh my gosh, plus size na pala ako, I need to lose more weight. When there is nothing wrong with your body. There is nothing wrong with you. You're in perfect shape, diba? But because of these images, dyan tayo nagsisimulang magkaroon ng negative body image. And so our take on it, body positivity is more than just a marketing strategy. It's more than using buzzwords like body love, empowerment, body acceptance. It's really showing diversity and the real representation of women in every age, every size, and every race. So just to show an example, this is one campaign that we love. It's by Swimsuits for All. And as you can see, it's very appropriate. It's not sexualized. It's not hyper-sexualizing the models, diba? It's just them at the beach, enjoying themselves in their swimsuits. If there's one thing that we love um, from beautyredefined.net, it's this. Uh, Lindsay and Lexi Kite, they say, assuring a girl she is beautiful will not protect her from the pain of being called ugly. If we give looks-based comments the power to build us up, we reinforce their power to tear us down. You know, because... Cop out na yan eh. Everyone's beautiful. Lahat tayo maganda. You're so beautiful. Yeah, sure. Pero again, it's still focused on the appearance. The intent is good. I agree. And I believe that every woman has her own distinct, unique beauty. Yes, I agree. But at the end of it, it still agrees with the message that we are just our bodies. Yun na yun end all be all natin as women. But you know, we are more than our bodies. And beauty shouldn't be the end all and be all of our womanhood. People have preferences. People have prerogative. Men, some men don't like fat girls, and that's okay. You know, we've gotten emails from women saying na, "Tung lalaking to ayaw niya lang ako dahil mataba ako." Well, he's free, diba? He's free to have his opinion. He's free to not like fat girls. Eh, attraction na yan eh. Biology na yung kalaban mo dyan. Diba? Don't take it personally. Don't take offense. 
And there are guys who like curvy girls too, di ba? Di, good for us. Pero we shouldn't shame people for saying, for not wanting how we look. Because again, dun mo makikita na may flaw eh. May flaw sa messaging ng body positivity eh. Kasi bumabalik tayo dun sa beauty, bumabalik tayo dun sa katawan lang ulit. But you know what? At the end of it, our bodies are not ornaments to be looked at. Our bodies are beyond that. And our bodies are instruments to experience life to the full. So just some practical tips and guides on how to be truly body positive. First of all, be critical of the media you consume. Who are the people you're following online and offline, diba? Be Ask questions. Why do I follow if all I do is feel insecure after scrolling through her feed? It's okay to stop looking at these images and do a media detox. Also, we have to see bodies for what they are. Like my sister said, our bodies are not meant for just this to display and to show na, oh, ang ganda-ganda ko. No, our bodies, it's our instruments to live life with, diba? So let's see it for what they truly are. And also raise awareness about body positivity. If you hear someone, shame someone for their size or their weight, you know, wag naman confrontation agad na call out culture na, ang sama-sama ng ugali mo, you're so bastos. No, of course, you have to explain properly, have a dialogue, diba? Ask, bakit mo nasabi yun? Bakit? It's very helpful to have these kinds of dialogues. And of course, embody it for yourself. Again, self-love is not about conceit or vanity. It's about having a healthy regard of your own well-being. And it's very possible to love yourself and accept yourself while being humble enough to know that you have a lot more to improve on. And again, you cannot love yourself without experiencing love. This is our favorite verse. We love because He first loved us. And of course, that's God. And love is a pre prerequisite to understanding that you have a beauty of your own. And lastly, we want to share with you our, the, the main foundational verse why we even started this advocacy. And it's, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows, knows very well. Psalm 13914. I hope you girls learn so much, even to the men here. Thank you for joining the discussion and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Yes.